YouTube channel, my name is Nicole and today I am bringing you a Primark haul which I love to watch and if you don't show the bag, have you even done a Primark haul? I went in there today and picked up a few bits and I went in last week and picked up a few bits as well um, from two different stores so um, I just thought I'd put them both into one big video and show you guys what is in Primark right now. So, I'm going to start with this top, just because I'm wearing it, so that makes sense <laughs> to start there. So, this is just a cute, white, frilly top with little pink and green flowers on it. I've tucked it in, but it actually has these little frills. It does kind of look nice untucked as well, but I just think... It flatters your waist a bit more tucked in so that's how I've worn it two things I would say about this is it is a bit see-through as you can see my bandeau under there but obviously I've worn it with a bandeau and then the other thing is these sleeves like they're really baggy so I don't know if you're meant to wear it off the shoulder like that I don't think so because that looks a bit weird but um yeah it's just really big here i don't know why so all day they've been falling down and i've been pulling them up but that's the things you've got to do for a cute top so that is item number one and i just grabbed my boobs <laughs> i picked up this skirt which is just so cute so in right now these long skirts or these midi skirts and it's got a nice slit so it's still quite flattering because sometimes i feel like these um don't always look that flattering but because it's got the split you can still poke your little leg out and um yeah it looks really nice so it's just got nice detail at the back just a hidden zip and i love this green color um and then obviously it's just got the white flower details i got that in a size eight and that was 10 pounds i literally i love this so much when i saw it i was like I need that it's not a want it's a need so yeah the next item was this plain white top i was going to get the um it's similar to this on zara in the limitless collection i think that's what it is um but when i saw this for three pounds i just thought let me try it um if it doesn't fit that well then i'll get the one from zara but it was three pounds it's a good basic to have even if i just wear it under things um they didn't have an extra small so i had to get that in a small which is a 10 to 12 but i thought it would be fine because it's quite stretchy and yeah like i said it was three pounds can't go wrong it's because i've already worn them shock i seem to have said that a lot <laughs> and they are just these oh They've got a lovely mark on them. Hopefully I'll be able to get that out. They are just these um, sand, sort of neutral, skin coloured sandals. Just little slip-ons. I just thought they're really cute, really easy to throw on. Go with everything. And what more can you say? They were £6, I believe. Maybe £5, but I think pretty sure they were 6 And then from the belt section... I got this belt all my belts are black and I thought when I saw this I thought I need that because sometimes you've got an outfit and you think this isn't gonna go with a black belt so in comes the nude one it is I don't know if you can see that it is like this woven material um so it is quite a summery sort of belt and then this is just like tortoiseshell um, with gold detailings but I just thought like if, when you have got a light look like even with this it would look really nice that was five pounds and they do have quite a lot of sizes in that one normally I can never find a small in the belts in Primark but they did on this occasion so I picked it up so I also got some jewelry now I am normally a silver jewellery girl. I wear silver necklaces. I'm missing one of mine at the moment, but I wear silver necklaces, silver watch, silver earrings. Like, I like silver. 
but there is times when you need gold because like that cardigan that I showed you at the beginning with the gold buttons, you just need to accessorize it with gold. So I just picked these up. There were three pounds for one, two, three, four necklaces. Four, I don't know if that's one, but yeah. And it's just this like little pendant and then three different size chains. And I just really liked it. Like I say, I don't tend to wear gold jewelry, so I'm not gonna splash out. Um, and this will just do the bit when I need it. So yeah, pick them up. So I've just put on this white top with the green skirt and I've also put the necklaces on, which I really like. I think they really add to the look. And I didn't realize, but well, I can't really show you, but I thought they would have, um, lots of different clasps and it's all just on one necklace so that makes my life a hell of a lot easier no tangling it's ideal um i was worried about this top being a little bit too big but honestly i think it's absolutely fine so maybe if you are a 10 to 12 size up on this one excuse the bra that i'm wearing um obviously i wouldn't wear this with this top but it, it was just what i had on i can't bother to change it um, and with the skirt, I am a little bit annoyed because it is fairly big. Like, it sits okay. I just would like it to be maybe a little bit higher. Um, so that is slightly annoying. But they didn't have a six anyway. Um, they only had a four and an eight. And I think the four would have been way too tight. So I'm glad I went for the eight. And we just pull you down. So here's the bottom of the skirt just to show you. I've just thrown it on with these little slide-on sandals. It. it's really cute I might try it on um, with this belt so I've just chucked this belt on to show you it as well and just to show you with the outfit ignore this clip but it flaps and it didn't look right tucked really mm, doesn't look too bad I'll just wear it like that for now normally I put like a little clear elastic around it so that is a really good tip if you have a long belt on put a clear elastic around it and then tuck it through like another belt hoop so yeah I love this outfit I love it with the belt the gold from the belt ties in with the necklace and the belt matches the shoes so yeah. next up is this white cardigan jumper I know we're in summer but I just thought this was really cute and it's quite classy so you could wear it you know to work or just casually as well it's a good piece to have in your wardrobe obviously you could wear it open or closed I would probably just wear it as a top like this um, and I just really liked it it's this rib detail um, and the sleeves just puff up very slightly which I just think is probably why I bought it because I just thought it was really cute and it just looks kind of quite expensive like it feels really good quality um, and then it's just got these gold buttons and yeah I just liked it dress up dress down it's a good piece to have this was eight pounds not bad for the quality it is way too hot to be wearing this jumper right now so i'm gonna make this one quick um so here's this on i've still got the gold necklaces on this one does come down a little bit too low like it would probably look better with just those but that's fine we can work with it um i've still just got it on with this green skirt like i said i probably need some sort of belt because it is a bit baggy if i just hold it at the back so you can get a vibe of what it looks like. I really like it. I wasn't sure when I first put it on because the sleeves are a bit puffier than um, I, they looked on the hanger. But let me just put it down a little bit. Here it is. The full outfit sort of thing. So, yeah, I think I like it. I think I will keep it. It's quite smart. Um, I don't know if it really goes with this outfit, maybe some jeans or some smart trousers um, and obviously again with a proper bra because that just looks ridiculous but I like it. I got a, another 
plain white top. Most of my tops are oversized, but occasionally you just need a fitted one. Um, so I picked this up and I thought the neck was quite flattering, a little v-neck number because a lot of my tops are crew neck. So I thought this was a bit different and it was £2.50 and I got that in an extra small. And yeah, I just thought you can never have too many basic tops. It will just look nice tucked into things. So yeah, that was that. And I did just pick it up in black as well. So it's the exactly same just in black. Next. Just paid it with some denim shorts and I think that looks really cute. Like you could go out, it's no effort at all. Put some white trainers on and you look put together. So yeah, there's that. And then I picked up this little top. So it's just kind of like a little vest top, spaghetti straps. Um, and it's like this knitted material. And it's kind of ribbed. I think this was six pounds. I got it in a size extra small, which is a six to eight. And um, it, I just really like it. Like, it's so casual, but can be dressed up so nicely. Um, so yeah, you'll see what that looks like on. I've been eyeing this pair up for quite a while. And I thought, mm, I don't know if I'd wear them, da, 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 because my feet swell in the heat and these aren't the best shoes in that scenario. But they were in the sale. So they're these espadrilles with the chunky sole. And let me tell you, I love them. I don't know why I didn't pick them up sooner. They're so pretty. They're like this Chanel. They give me like Chanel kind of vibes, you know, them ones. And they were four pounds in the sale, reduced from eight. So when I saw them in the sale, I thought it was a sign. So I picked them up and they're lovely. Here is this little top. Again, I've paired it with some denim shorts and I can't lift my foot that high because the shoes are still tied together. So I have to pull you down. And these espadrilles, these are nice, they are tight. I'm praying that they're gonna give, otherwise they're gonna be very uncomfortable, but they do look cute. And they go really nicely with this top. So this is so comfortable. Again, a really easy casual look, but still looks super nice, so. Yeah. Okay, and then I picked up, shock, another white top. There seems to be a recurring theme here. Um, I think I had the realization the other day that most of my tops are black and that just pretty white tops are so stunning. Um, and clearly that was what was in my head when I did my shopping. <laughs> so I picked up this. And I absolutely love this. I've already worn it, so the price isn't in it, but I do remember it was £15. And I got it in a size 10 because that was the only size that was left, but it fits fine because it's quite floaty anyway. So it's just got these like balloon sleeves with a little tie, which by the way are really hard to do by yourself. <laughs> so if you're ever going to wear this, make sure you have somebody to hand. Um, and then it's just got this detailing here, sort of crochet little frills on the arms and then it's polka dot all over and it frills out here and I wore this to dinner um, just a casual dinner the other night with blue jeans and um, some white trainers and it looked really nice so yeah there's that I love it it looks so cute and there's nothing more I can say about it I love the sleeves it's lightweight um, I just, polka dots, the details, everything, the ties, it's just so cute, so sweet, it's back, so yeah, and for £15, like, £15 seriously? So my final two pieces is a little matching set, so I thought I'd just show you them together. So first up is this mustard blazer, it's 
quite sort of oversized. I got it in a size eight and it was 15 pounds, but I just thought it was really nice. And obviously you don't have to wear it with the matching piece, which I'm about to show in a minute. You can um, mix and match the two, which I liked. And I love a blazer, especially these slouchy ones. They look so like effortlessly chic, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I picked that up. And to go with that was these, oh, the flies are undone. So to go with that was these little mustard shorts. Just thought they were really cute. They've got these little pleats, kind of little paper bag waist, but no belt or belt loops. And they then... were 10 pounds, which I think is really good. So 25 pound for an outfit pretty much is pretty good if you ask me, cannot complain these heels now i am not a heel girl everyone i know will tell you i cannot walk in them i moan whenever i wear them within a probably about an hour like i just i can't do it i'll get blisters my feet will hurt they ain't for me i'm a flat kind of girl or very small heels i have one pair of heels that i pretty much wear on every single night out because they're the only ones that i have found that i know my feet will last in so i'm hoping these will be another pair, another go-to that I'll be able to wear. I mean, the straps are quite thin, so I'm not sure how comfy they will be around the toes, but I just thought they were really nice. Really flattering, this like going over your foot. I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes your foot look sexy as hell. So yeah, I just thought they looked really expensive. Um, they were 12 pounds. And I got them in a size four. And the heel, just to show you, it's like this little square heel. So kind of chunky, but then it's kind of thin. Thinner than some of my other heels. Um, my go-to ones are very chunky, but they're not that high. Like, that's not that high. So I think they'll be okay. Um, and they were only 12 pounds, so I haven't broke the bank over them. I've just popped on the yellow two-piece. Let me just stand back a little bit. This is what it looks like with just that little black top that I showed earlier. Um, I don't know if I'd wear it like this. Maybe you could put a lacy, black lacy number on if you're going um, somewhere more dressy. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I like it. I'll just pull you down so you can see the um, black heels. There's the shoes. I really like them. I think they're super flattering on the feet. Um, I don't know if they're going to be that comfortable they're kind of hurting my toes already a little bit, um, but I can walk in them, so that's a pro. And last but not least, we have some accessories. So, I picked up these scrunchies. They were £2 for free, which is pretty good. And you get a champagne one, a pink one, and a black. And they've all got kind of a goldy tinge to them, so they would look really nice with gold jewellery and stuff. And yeah, what more can you say about scrunchies? So as well as the scrunchies, I picked up these um, bobby pins. I don't know what you call them. Bobby pins, clips. Comment down below what you call these because I feel like everyone's got a different name for them, but you know what they are. I lose them every time I put them in my hair. I find them all over the house. You can never have enough and they're a pound and they come in a cute little container. So maybe I won't lose these ones, but probably will. <laughs> and then last but not least, maybe a boring one to end on, is some sunglasses. Oh, there we go. What do you think? <laughs> I literally have so many pairs of Primark sunglasses and I have a pair very, very similar to this, but they're more cat-eyed and these are just like the big square ones similar to like the gucci ones um obviously they're not gucci because these were two pounds just good to have cheap ones for when you know you might lose them or break them or whatever else so 
that is that. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.